It's a bit like what he actually did to the animals back on South Island and West Side Island and his whole modus operandi before he started messing around with godlike powers and such. A lot of people really do appreciate that. Wait for it. Wait for it to be vertical and then go past them. These, as you might have remember, are those same weird negative energy things from Candy Island. Sweet Mountain, that's what it's called. I keep thinking calling it the Big Rock Candy Mountain. Stupid. Only one way to get up, I guess. Is it me or are we using more and more wisps more and more frequently? Wait for it. Wait. Hmm. Maybe I won't need to wait. Maybe I will. Ouch! Please don't shoot at me again. Alright. Now wait for that to go vertical. And, wait a minute. No, I don't have to wait for that to go vertical. Wait for it to go horizontal, you bozo. Sweet. <laughs> gotcha. Shoot me in the face, will you? I'll teach you to shoot me in the face. by the way, where we're going to go after we get the red rings. You won't see it in this playthrough, but once you get all the red rings, you go play through a bunch of weird stages that allow you to unlock Supersonic. But seeing as actually unlocking Supersonic takes nearly as long to play as the game proper, I won't be showing you that for now. No, I, I wonder why Sonic's even bothering riding in the coaster. Is, he, is that even fun for him? You'd think he'd be able to just grind on the rails. Maybe he's just horsing around? That's probably it. By the way, I remember when I was reading a book about roller coasters when I was a kid, I remember that if you want to get the most hang time and mess with the G-forces, you ride in the cent- wait. If you want the most hang time, you ride in the back car. If you want to feel like you're going the fastest, you ride in the front car. And if you want to get the most out of the G-forces, you ride in the middle car. Whee! Oop. Switch to the center. You know, if we get dunked in that stuff, are we gonna get to turn into the Incredible Hulk or what? Oh, I hope so. Oh, wait, no, I don't. On second thought, maybe I don't hope so. I don't want to deal with the Werehog again. We're having so much fun with the regular gameplay. Question remains exactly. Hmm. Never mind. If Eggman actually opened this thing up as an honest amusement park, would it be successful at all? Boing, boing, going, yoing. There we go. Oh, time to turn into the frenzy once again. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Hell of a time to turn back. Oh well, caterpillars don't matter anymore. Oh, this is gonna be good. By the way, this is what I was talking about when I said that it was a bit of a pain to sometimes turn into the purple wisp because you don't want to run off the edges of your 3D form. 2D, uh, 2D purple wisp is a lot of fun. 3D purple wisp can be a bit nerve-wracking. Eh, yeah, miss the red ring. Wait for it. Go. Ouch. Now that we're stuck in here, this is a sort of a mini boss that you have to beat if you want to get through this area. Wait for those yellow energy things to get out of the way, and then ram into his center with a homing attack. Ow! But for the third shot, those things are going to start moving a lot faster, and the water's going to be a lot more chaotic. Well, that should have killed me. So should that. But it's not that difficult to beat. 
Let's see. B. Well, alright. I'll take a B. I'll take the B. Up, up, and away to the boss. You know, I don't like what you're doing to my friends in there. It's messed up. So I'm gonna mess you up. We do not respawn, do banter. Yeah, that's right. I'm stretching. You got a problem with that? I want to be able to fully enjoy taking you apart without some pulled muscle slowing me down. Okay, now I'm ready. Of course, if you want to run away, please feel free. There's no shame in it. Well, maybe a little shame. I just hate the Hannah Barbara sound effects. You guys don't talk much, do you? No. Fair enough. Don't say I didn't warn you. So, yes, this is this boss is sort of a retread of the one that we faced back in what was it again? Shiny Land. Chase that ship down and start wailing away. Don't be surprised when it works. Find it again and blam up! This is my favorite kind of this is my favorite boss, I think, in the game to fight. Watch out for the double machine guns. Special, 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 special. Oops. This is basically, uh... Oy, 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 that was close. Different things that you run into will take different amounts of time to smash off. And I don't know if they contribute more or less to the actual damage on the ship. But the spotlights are the fastest things to get knocked off. Uh-oh. Wait for it. Wait for it. Try not to get shot. Please. Whew, that was a close one. But this one has something that the previous boss did. It warps it out of existence and it'll spit these meteors out at you. Unlike a lot of other boss attacks, these meteors are not telegraphed. Their hitboxes are very large and sometimes it really is pretty much impossible to avoid them. So, just avoid them as best you can and then wail the sh way at the ship when you get an opportunity. Wait for the spiky bits to pass and... Won't go again. Not difficult at all, really, once you get the hang of it. Your true form is somewhat less intimidating. Hi, we're the Goofy Eggman faces. We're gonna fuck you up. Ow! I should not have run dead into the machine guns. Thank you very much. Wait a minute, grab that, grab that. Well, I got an A ring, so I can take a hit. That's the one problem about these bosses. It's next to impossible to get a ring after you've got hit because you're always tearing along at top speed. Avoid these meteors. They bounce in funny patterns, and sometimes it can be next to impossible to avoid them, too. Oh, no, you don't, wise guy. I'll take this, this power and smash you in it. Synchronized bouncing! I'm Sonic the Rig Hog. Whew. So, what do we get for that? Hey. Well, alright, I'll take an A. I guess I did get hit a couple times. That was almost difficult. Neck play. You did it! Couldn't have done it without you, buddy. Bet your ass. Well, Disney's out of the question. <laughs> we love you, Disney. Oh, yes, we do. We love you dearly, so please do not sue. Looks like it. Once the power went off, Locks vanished. I hope the actor's okay. I think you'll be fine. You don't think the weapon you were shot with still works? Not without power flowing to it. I think we're all good. That's what I like to hear. So, what's preventing him from just repairing all these things again? I don't think this is over. Pretty. He's got his big friggin' face on it. Everything he's got, doesn't he?
That was a weird time. So, oh, this is all over. Oh wait, it's not all over, people. Not quite yet. We still have one place to go. Left. My fault. Well, it's not my fault. I mean. Well, the mind control cannon is full enough for what it has to do. Oh, wait, shit. I will have the last laugh! The last laugh? How is laughing last special? Isn't that like being the slowest one to get the joke? Yes, I laugh last all the time! People look at me like I'm an idiot, forget about it! That's because you are an idiot. Uh, hmm. Let me think about that if I can. You talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. There's nobody else here, so I must be talking to you. Why you could be talking to Orbot. Yo, quit busting my batteries over here. I've been working on it all day. What does that even mean? No, never mind. Now he sounds like me. It won't matter anyway, since the world will have only one thing on its mind. What's that, boss? <laughs> me. Uh-oh. That ain't good. Oh crap. Oh crap. Looks like he succeeded after all. Oh damn. Ready, gigantic death laser. On the other hand, is it really wise to actually have the giant death laser shooting down your space elephant? Right, nobody wants to actually come. But. Remember that arm from earlier, back when we beat the big boy way back at the beginning of the game? That arm's still there. The mind control cannon is not going to function as it should. Oop. What's that gonna do? Well, it's never explicitly stated, but I believe we find out what happens to what happened to that chunk that hit the moon in the next game. Wait, why is the moon blown in half? You about don't give a shit. <laughs> Don't ever talk to me like that again. <laughs> 